Here's a good one. Oh, never mind. I actually want to play it without sound because I just want to. This is her text overlay of this woman saying, I think I figured out my issue with my lack of attraction to straight men. They don't have hobbies. When I ask what you do for fun, I want you to tell me you make pottery or bake or yearn. I don't know if that was supposed to say yarn maybe, which I don't think that people who do the knitting stuff call it yarn. I don't do that hobby, so I, but I don't think that they call it that. I think it's just called knitting. You could just say knit. But if the verb is supposed to be yearn, and she's actually saying that what women want is simply for a man who does nothing but want things, that's a lie. The least wants a man can have while existing with a woman, the better. Needs to. The less wants and needs a man can have, the better he's going to do in the dating market. It's actually very dangerous of you to tell men that they should be yearning. Yeah, and also yearning is not a hobby. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Nor do women want you to <laughs> make pottery or bake. Making pottery and baking do not earn enough money, okay? That's a lie. Why is she full of lies? All straight men do is a major in business and drink and occasionally rock climb. Where's the creativity, babe? Not muse material. There is so much to unpack here. First of all, Let's really look into the whole concept of what a muse is. Are we still doing the muse thing? Didn't we let that go when we were like 19 and 20? That was really cute when we like first started talking to people and we were like, they're my muse, they're everything to me. And then we like, we just got jaded enough to let that one go. Didn't we drop that in like freshman year? <laughs> but no, apparently, we're gonna still cling to this concept. And let's romanticize it even, right? But the concept of a muse is a person where you pretty much solely exist to be perceived as the object of inspiration. And there's usually something greater, more eloquent, spiritual, mystical about you that makes you more evocative as a muse, which I guess that's flattering, but the, the muse role is also problematic in a way that it objects whoever becomes the muse. And I think that's also why a lot of us dropped that off after a while, was we realized, oh, they're not my muse, they're a person that I'm projecting all of my deepest fantasies onto which will later disappoint me. <laughs> I think a lot of us recognize that over time for what it is, and then we let go of that childish preconceived notion. But no, liberal arts care bear here is still fully addicted to the concept of a man existing with a pure enough essence for her to just project her wants onto, and then if he could just not deviate from that projection, please. But let's keep taking this apart, because I've only just started cooking here, okay? All straight men do is major in business and drink. I thought business was a good thing. I thought that, like, women in business, too, was... But that's for the girlies now, or... Do you understand that business is so many different things? There's so much that goes into business. Why does she think of men as they just wear suits and talk about stocks? Business is also nonprofits and soup kitchens and your radiator, the app that you're uploading on, the device that you're recording on, the people who are able to sustain your hobbies. You can't even have hobbies without business, dude. If you want your little muse himbo, you need businessmen 
to create that himbo for you. <laughs> you still need the men that you're not porking. Just because you're not porking them doesn't mean you don't need them. Now, I will admit this. Men consume more alcohol than women. You can look that up. That's a stat. I'm not going to cap on that. That's true. Men spend more and consume more alcohol than women. That's... It's a thing. It's also a problem that men are facing that we should be empathetic to and trying to help them with. Okay? It's not just something we should shame them for. It's also something that we should be setting up maybe even a business to help cater to them. Now, <laughs> let's get into the comments. I'll say this. She, it's not going to be the same comment you might be thinking of. This comment section will restore your faith in humanity. She does get dragged. And you can see that she's getting dragged based on the amount of comments alone. And I hope I could find the one comment that I was hoping I wanted to respond to. If not, you'll just have to take my word for it that, was a, that it was indeed a thing she said. Okay, where was it? She responded to something. Oh yeah, she tries to backtrack at one point. Every hobby is beneficial if you genuinely enjoy it, even if it's small or pointless. But having some things you're passionate about is. What? So basically the opposite of what you just fucking said. The people that are blaming you in these comments are clinically insane. I love this guy. No, except rock climbing, though. It's okay to have a pointless hobby unless it's one that I don't like. You're allowed to have pointless hobbies that I find physically attractive and can spank my bean to. But anything else, no. I don't like it for men. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one. Occasionally rock climb, LMAO. Not even real rocks most of the time either. Things men can't do. Climb rocks if they're fake. That's, you can't, you shouldn't get good at climbing real rocks until you have practiced consistently climbing fake rocks. Do you know how dangerous climbing real rocks is also bouldering is one of the coolest hobbies ever literally me and my husband were just trying to figure out if we have time to go to higher ground before we go to the baseball game tonight we were literally just trying to squeeze that in why because we're boring and toxic that's why <laughs> this is a great question do you think she would hate someone that does taxidermy for a hobby no because it's okay if their hobby is that she finds interesting. And women are creepy. And it's a known fact, okay? This is just a fact. There's evidence to back it up. We all know this. The less eyebrow a woman has, the more into taxidermy she is. We know this. This is just science.